Art students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, back in the classroom with another lesson. And today I'm going to show you guys how to draw legs. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how to draw legs. I was going to say something, but it just went right out of my head. So before I sit here and waste your time rambling and rumbling and so forth, let's just jump right into this video and I'll show you how to draw legs. And whatever I was thinking about, don't worry about it. There's another video on the way. All right, let's go. All right, so let's get going with drawing the legs. Now, right off the bat, you know that uh, the woman's leg is different from the man's leg. That's right off the bat. So the difference is going to be that when you're doing a woman's leg, you want to keep it smoother. You want to keep the line smoother and not have a lot of muscles in it unless you're drawing like a She-Hulk type. But even at that, She-Hulk still has those curves. Whereas if you're drawing a man, like you're drawing the Hulk or Captain America, something like that, you want to have more defined muscles. All right, so this tutorial is not going to be a short one because it's going to be an actual teaching tutorial and I'm going to break it down to where at the end of this video, you'll have a way better idea of how to draw legs and should know how to be able to draw legs versus focusing or, or, or looking at a video that's like a 10 minute video just to tickle your fancy and you walk away realizing you know nothing about how to do what you came there to do. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Let me focus my camera or lock my camera focus so it won't be jumping in and out like it's doing. So once we get that done, we'll start to draw. All right, so let's break this thing down. And for some reason, it looks a little dark in here. I don't know why, maybe my lights are dying. All right, first thing you wanna know about the legs, first thing you wanna do about the legs, and I'm trying to figure out what color pencil I wanna use, is you have to have something, the legs have to connect to something, and that's gonna be the hips. So drawing the hips is basically, and I always say the upside down house. Now, people, I think everybody can draw. I say, if you can write, you can draw. Just the fact that you don't do it enough is why you say you can't draw, you don't, you give up. So I can, I can't play the piano. If I want to learn how to play the piano, I'll sit down and I'll practice. But if I sit down thinking, oh, I'm the greatest piano player and I can't play anything and I get mad and I walk away, then this, that's the reason why I'll never learn how to play the piano. So same thing with art or riding a bike or singing or whatever. You can't do it well because you don't do it enough. All right. So again, this is my little wisdom, words of wisdom before I actually disappear from this planet. I want to leave some words of wisdom. If you can do an E, letter capital E, you're on your way to a good start. So let's do that capital E, but let's turn it upside down or sideways, upside down. So you have your bottom, you have your E like that. And let's put that E in the center, That make sure this line is in the center. <clears throat> Draw uh, a line on there. And then from here, you go all the way up and then you're having your house. And this is why I call it the upside down house because what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it over and that's going to be your, your hips. So you round this off and I'm gonna stop saying so. You round this off so you don't have a pointed roof and then your legs connect to that, leaving some space. So that's your hips. Now for a man, you want to come straight up. Well, not so much straight up, but for a woman, you want to come in more. So let's see if I can find me a nice suitable marker. So as I said, a woman's hip is going to be like this and then come out and then from there. And whereas a man's is going to, or it's going to be more straight up like that. Different. So when you come out like that for a woman and whereas a man, you're going to come straight up. Or if you're going to do a woman leaning on one leg, that's also how you would do it. Curve one side in, break one side out. But we're focusing on the legs. So let's get back to the upside down house and then draw the legs. And I say, if you have trouble drawing a house, which is just basically a box and then center line and then your triangle, that's your upside down house. Now, let's, let's, as I said, let's round this off because you've got your man junk and your lady junk taking up space. So you want to round that roof off and then leaving a gap. Let's go straight down. Well, yeah, let's go straight down. Let's just go, not straight, straight, but 
out a little bit, leave room for the muscles. And for this one, we want to go out just a little bit more. So same thing here, I'm going to go out and down. You kind of bring it in like a cone and I'm going to show you cone and I'm going to show you in a second because I'm, I'm jumping past something. But I'm just showing you your hips and your, your leg parts for now. So let's just top that off right there. Now, with this, and this is where the drawing part comes in at. Where is this? This is my paper towel holder or old paper towel roll here. And in a lot of videos, I show you guys about doing foreshortening and twisting the thing. So let's start out with that. Paper towel holder is here. And these are your legs. Your legs and your arms are cylinders, period. Once you learn how to draw cylinders and master those cylinders, it becomes so simple to draw. All right, so that's laying down. This one is laying down just like this. And we're going to rotate it up. Notice that this part is flat and this part is flat. Now when I, and I'm just drawing guideline right here, I'm going to try to keep it on this guideline. I don't know if it's going to stay, but this is really not important. When you start to rotate this cylinder up, this, you're going to start to see some of the circle, some of the opening there. Now, this is the important part. This part, as round as this is, this has to be the same roundness. This can't stay flat. So the next one would come up a little bit more. You'd see a little bit more opening. And as round as this is, this has to be round too. And I'm rushing this because it shouldn't jump too much. This shouldn't jump so much in roundness. But I'm, I want this video to be a little, a little shorter than I'm thinking it's going to be. So the more you turn it up, the more circle you're going to see, the more hole you're going to see, the narrower it becomes, the shorter it becomes. And I'll skip ahead a couple, a couple, um, a couple steps like that. So somewhere over here, it's going to be like this, and then this, and it's almost basically round. And then finally, you'll get to this. That's going to be your end step. The next one will probably be short like this. And then your next one will be just the circle like that. So we'll skip in between these two just to save time. Now, this is the same thing you're going to do with your legs and your arms. Once you've mastered that, then basically, as I say, you have it. Let's just say if this was going to be an arm, and I was going to put the other end of the arm right here. It would be like that. There's your opening here. There's your opening here. Let me do this. There's your opening here. There's your opening here. If this was a shoulder, you would have your, your delts here, your collarbone, shoulders, your chest, and then your hand would come out somewhere down here. Like that. And that's just simple. And then just add the muscles, add your curves. And basically, drawing is knowing where the curves in the arms, legs, and everything else goes like that. You just have to know where the curves. Once you learn your curves, then you pretty much got it. But this is like the first step in drawing, but you have to learn how to, to manipulate your cylinders. So, same thing for here. Let's just say if this was your leg here and you were sitting down, you'd have your other part going down like this. You can see the top of that, the top of that, and this would be your foot here. And that would be a sitting position. And if you have another leg right there sitting, it'd be here and the other part of your leg there. All right, so you remember this first step is flat and flat, and there are, uh, what's the word that I'm trying to think of, situations where you will have rounded at the top and rounded at the bottom but that's a perspective thing that's a perspective thing you'd have to have your eye line right there in the center so that you can see the top will be rounded and the bottom will be rounded as well but we're not getting into that but there is an ex example not an example <sighs> exceptions thank you where it's like that 
All right, let's get back to this. Now, as I said, there is a difference between the woman's leg and the man's leg, and I'm going to show you that as we go along. So you have your legs. Number one, the man's leg is going to be, you want the man's leg to be wider. This is going to be the widest part up in here. And it's going to narrow almost like this, except it's going to be more of a cone shape, almost like a triangle. For you really new drawers, triangle and then just chop it off right here. Do your circle. Remember, this, whatever this circle is or whatever angle this half circle is, this has to be the same thing. So, knowing that, also knowing that, the top half and the bottom half have to be the same proportion because I've seen a lot of people or a lot of young artists, not necessarily young as in young in age, but young drawers, young to new to drawing, who will draw like this, an arm here and the arm is fat and this arm is skinny, and then they give up because they don't understand why the drawing is not perfect. And as I said before, the only reason why your drawings are not better is because you don't do it enough. Once you do it enough, once I sit at that piano for hours and hours every day, I will become a great piano player. Once you sit down at your drawing table and draw for hours and hours every day. Not that you're gonna draw for hours and hours every day, but if you're drawing something every day, every day, then you become a great artist. And another reason why it doesn't look right or you give up because you know there's something wrong with that picture. Your eye's not trained to figure out what is wrong, but you know that something's wrong and it doesn't look good and you give up. And that's the main thing that a lot, why a lot of people fail in life basically because you give up on stuff so much let's just say here's a face I do a face here and I do a face here now if I, if, if I say which one is the wrong face or which one is drawn wrong you'd say that one because we see faces every day. So we'll know when we look at a face, we'll know something's off because we look at it every day. We look at your, your own face in the mirror. You look at your face, your friends, your parents, uh, ads in the paper, uh, people on TV. You look at faces so you'll know. I mean, that's burnt into your head what a face should look like, what a face should be shaped like. So when you draw something and you see it, especially if it's not a face, you'll say, oh, that's quite not right something's not right and you get upset and you're just like I'm gonna give I'm gonna give up but just keep going you'll eventually your eye will be trained to see that hey that leg is too long or that leg is too short or that hip is wrong it's just doing it over and over and over again all right so it's just like with this one I know these legs are way too long so I figure out where I'm gonna put the knee and that's just basically from doing it all the time so you draw your legs Hopefully you, you know not to draw it too long right off the bat. But if you do, you figure out where your knees are going to go. And your knees are going to be in the middle of these two. So this part and this part should be basically the same length. So I'll cut it off right here. And then just get rid of this part here. My great eraser. So in proportion with this hip, these legs should be pretty good. I mean, I might bring it down like a millimeter or something, but it, it, it should be pretty good. And one thing is, if you draw a center line straight down your leg, your knee is not going to be on that center line. Your knee is always toward the outside just a little bit because you have your, what is that? Your, the, the pelvic bone is shaped something. How is that thing shaped? And I have one. I'm going, to show, I'm going to show it to you in a second. Maybe help out a little bit. Shape kind of like that. And then you have this little ball here where your leg fits in. And your legs, the bone in your legs, they don't come down straight. They don't come down straight or out. They actually come in. That's just the way they, the skeleton is. They, they come in. Just a bit of a useless information. Because... We don't stand like that, but the legs are, are wider than, of course, are wider than the, the bones like that. And that's why kind of your knee is more like 
on the outer side, and I'll show you the, the knee part, the part in more detail. Now, again, the man is going to have that that room here, but his legs are wider, and I'll use this. Let me darken this. Let's just say here, my here here are my hips. Over this bone, my hips are going to be like that. Over that bone. Now, the man has, as I say, the man junk, which is which protrudes from the front, so the from the back, this is the buttocks, and this is the front. You're going to have this right here. So, and here's your legs right here. Whereas a woman's will come down and in like that. I don't know if you can see that. I just dropped that off, off of camera like that. So the man's legs are going to be closer together because of the size, the sheer size and muscle of the legs. Whereas a woman who is, especially a thinner woman, not a, not a fat woman, Her legs will be apart. You'll have that that gap between her legs, unless I say unless she's just really really thick woman. But a man's going to be closer. Remember that, especially when you're drawing superhero, powerful superhero. I don't know why I keep pushing the thing up out of camera range, but yeah, that's that's just a tip for you. Now, the simplest way to do legs, especially the woman, you know it's going to come in at the knee, so you have your knees placed. You're gonna just draw a line like an indentation and then curve out like that. And then the same thing in, curve out like that. But you wanna stay in this rectangle shape. So you're gonna do something like this. It's, let's say if I put my knee here and it's curved in here, it's gonna curve out and it's gonna curve out again, staying in that rectangle position. Now, usually a woman we don't women don't have the curves like a man especially on the inside so the best thing to do is for me is to just draw a straight line and kind of keep that line somewhat straight just bring it in at the at the knee just a little bit and then bring it out so if i'm doing if i do this it'd be like this here's that knee and then out so here you're going to curve it like this because remember the woman's going to have just a bit of a gap curve it in or down and in to that and then you're going to have a little calf and then there and that's basically all I would do for the woman now the knee you're going to do like a little diamond shape like this make sure that's on camera and then your feet which the uh, ankles I do this line a lot of times this little slanted line to Tell me where my ankles are. The inside ankle is higher than the outside ankle. And then your foot, like that. Now you have this muscle that comes across from like this point, across here, and then it forms another muscle. But you won't see that in a woman. I'll show maybe just a bit of that line here. Just a tad bit, if at all. A lot of times I don't, but it mainly depends on the shape. Now with a man, you're gonna have basically just, I just do two big cylinders like that to start out with. Keeping in these, this cone shape like that. Knowing that, like I say, in the, in the center by the knee, you're gonna come in and you're gonna go out. Now, here again, you have that, right where these legs connect or come up, that line that comes across and then draw that knee that diamond. Now the reason that you have, what's it, one, two, three muscles, actually a fourth one on the back if I'm not mistaken, but this is just an easy way to, to do it because I know when you drew men you're going to do the muscles. So you have that diamond because you have one, one part of the muscle right up that diamond and it curves into that which gives you that little teardrop shape or that water drop shape and the other part of the muscle comes up here and they separate right here, leaving this kind of a V shape here. But in actuality, this muscle comes all the way down between the two, it separates the two, but it's just easier to do it like this, especially if you're new to drawing a V shape like that. And this kind of curves in and comes out like that. Then you have this one, which is from the inside 
This is, yes, this is the inside. This part of the leg is going to come closer to the knee because that knee is, remember, it's on closer to this side here. So you're going to have this that, that, that bulges out. This inside, you have this curve, this little curve here. And you're going to have something that, that bulges out around the knee. And this, is, this part is going to come down to actually where your ankle hits. So on the outside, you're going to have this calf right here. And this is going to take over for the leg. And then you have your foot. Remember, higher, lower. Draw a foot, Brian. Draw a foot. Like that. Now the thing is, when you bend your legs, and that's the hardest part for a lot of people, and that was the hardest part for me too. When you bend your legs, drawing your knee, your knee is, let me, let me show you guys the skeleton real quick, and that'll actually kind of help. Well, let me draw it first, and then I'll show you. Maybe that, but see, it just keeps me from getting up. You have, where I said you had this bone, this bone, what is that bone? Bone shaped like this, kind of like this. And I'm not, you know, I didn't go to college for this. This is kind of like all learned. It comes down and then you have, it's kind of like this, you know, the, the old caveman bone. But there is that little diamond that is connected in the front of that bone. And then you have like, it's called it like this rubber band that's connected to here and it's connected to another piece of the other bone, which is down here. And that bone splits into like two. We're not getting into that. But from the side, what does that look like from the side? Let's just say you have your bone here. You have that little diamond piece. And let's say there's a little rubber that connects to that other bone, which bends like that and gives you this shape when you bend your knee. And let me show you that real quick because that might make a little bit of sense. All right, here you have the knee. Let me zoom in on it. And this is this is your bone here. And then you have this little diamond, as I say, right here, this little kind of diamond shape. And right here, where is it at with my finger? Right here, there's, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, let's call it a rubber band. It's, it pulls down and it's connected to this piece of the knee right here. So when you bend it, let's see if I can get a sideways shot. That little rubber band, the band that's connected here, helps you to pull forward and backwards. So that gives you that flatness here. And then that little rubber band piece is like right here. So that gives you that little box shape. So hopefully that kind of, you kind of understand that. And that's why we use a diamond. It's just easier to use a diamond because the muscles form, hold the camera up, form around here. All right, back to drawing. Okay. So let me do this real quick. Hopefully you have that. You kind of understand that. If not, I'll do it one little rough, quick rough before we, we end it. So back to this part again, cylinders. It's very important that you master that. I always say master your shapes. If you can't draw right because you haven't mastered your shapes yet, square, uh, cylinder, triangle. And your triangle, basically, you chop that off to make other shapes like you have your diamond you that you come down you have a smaller diamond and you have like a lamp now, this is just just it's not much for the the, the di uh, triangle but once you start chopping stuff off of the, the triangle then it becomes other things so i'm going to do a video on more on shapes later okay let's just say you have your character and this is the upside down house again a woman as I say you want to come in more like that to give her those wider hips a man you want to come straight up a little bit more not so much straight up like a box but it does want to go in because you want your male character to have small waist and then your your wide lats like that so you wanted to come in Whereas the woman is going to come in like the, uh, what do they say, the Coke bottle or the hourglass shape like that. And then the diamond like that. And then come in like so. Now, 
this. That might be too big for what I'm trying to do. Using oval, let's say I want my guy to be squatting. Rectangle, not rectangle, what is this? This is a, a oval. Oval? Why am I losing it today? I don't know. Same way we drew, we drew this. Same thing, let's keep this. Let's keep this close by so people can see. Cylinder, thank you. What, what is, what is, but this is more of an oval. That's more of an oval, but it's cylinder in, in, in reality. Now it's a cylinder. This is an oval. Do that, it's a cylinder. Like that. So your knee's gonna come down. Remember you have that little diamond piece here. That little rubber band that connects to the other part of that leg, which is another cylinder, which is the other cylinder that goes back here. Same thing. You have that, that diamond here. You can do a circle. Either way, just make it quick. That rubber band, and then you have that other part that comes back here. So remembering that this part has got to be as long as that part. So if I'm doing a cat that's, that's uh, squatting, because of the calf, the calf, this part, the calf is going to be behind this part of the leg, but if I drew through it, it's going to look like this. So sometimes you can have the little lump in that part of the leg, or sometimes you can just leave it like that, but most times I'll leave it like that, depending on the angle. And then you have your foot. Now, once you have that, then you start to do your shapes. Like, you know, this part is going to be thick high up. It's your knee. And then this here. So if I drew that, and then this leg comes, this leg is going to come up like that. And it's going to be part of the hip. So it's going to be like this. And then you have that, that line, that muscular line, but it comes up. I usually don't try to put too many muscles in the legs because if you get it wrong, and this is the front, then again, you'll notice it and say, you know, something's not right, something's not right. But there again, you have to know where the center of your line is, your leg is in proportion to where your muscles are. Same way you center off this part of the body and know where everything goes. It's the same with the legs. You have to kind of center. You don't have to put the line, but it is good when you do that in, in um, I can't think of that word, with the rest of the muscles. And remember, you have that one muscle here that goes up, that other muscle here that comes around, and then I believe there's another muscle here somewhere I have to be sure of that. I mean, it's easy for me to draw, but teaching is a whole different story. That's why a lot of people don't really teach. They just draw these pretty videos, and then you look at it like, wow, he can draw, but what does that do for you? You can't draw it if he's not showing you step by step. This is why I have decided to teach, because nobody was there to teach me. So, yeah. Once you get these cylinders, know how to do these cylinders. Bring it back in time, as we say, or back in space, or back in perspective. And that one won't even go like that. Then you're good. You're good to go. You're not good to go, but you'll, you'll know a lot better. You'll know more than you did before. And then this, is this, this one comes, I think it comes up like that. One of those ways, once it come down, you know that muscle is here. Yeah, that's right, it comes, comes down like that. But as I say, I don't try to draw every muscle. I'm giving you the, the gist of how to draw legs. Same thing if you want to do somebody sitting, it would be the same thing. You draw the back thigh first. So let's just do this. Let's, let's, since I've got this guy, it's gonna be a great example. The more you bend the leg, the less of the leg you see. 
So if this guy was going to be sitting down, and yes, you start out with the cylinder, but realistically, when that muscle comes across, where da -da 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 -da, where this muscle comes across, it's going to take a different shape. It's going to be shaped more like that, the, the shape that, of your leg. But that's that's another story. That's another whole other video. Let's get the cylinders right first. So we want to do this, and this is the this depends on how much this leg is turned toward you, the viewer. Whether you see this much, or whether you just see this much, or whether you see this whole thing. So you have that. You know how high the leg is going to be, and then you put that other. Uh, circle in right there so you're seeing a lot of inner thigh here if I move this over here you see a lot of the outer thigh here which means this is where the knee is going to be here so the, the leg is going to come down you have to determine where you want your knee and how high that leg is going to be up I can put the circle down here and you'll see more of this I can put the circle up here and you'll see more of the bottom. It depends on, as I say, where you want to put that, that leg. I mean, it could be kicking high or, or the leg could be um, up, down. I forgot what I was going to say, but just let me go ahead and finish. So I'm going to put this right there kind of in the center. Now that's where I'm going to, that's where the knee is going to go, right here in the center. So if I did this diamond, the other part of the leg is going to come down here like that so remember it comes out it's going to be the meat on the inside it comes out and down and straight down to that that's that um shin bone if i'm not mistaken it comes down here the calf is going to come out and then connect into the other shin bone and then <clears throat> you have the higher ankle the lower ankle and then the foot like that and as I said, I already showed you the examples of where you want to put that that front circle. This is your rear thigh. This is the rear the rear of your thigh. You can put the circle up here. This is your knee. Comes out. Your calf. And the other part of your, your leg. And you'll see all of this part of that, that um, leg. And then your hip here and your foot is going to go there. Again, master this, master these things. Practice, do this, do this example, do that example. Find you a toilet paper roll and then just, just draw it, move it just a little bit, move it just a little bit. Or as I say, draw a circle back here for the back of your thigh and then draw another circle somewhere, draw a circle here for instance and then just go straight down like that you don't have to be perfect if you're just practicing just go straight down like that draw another one here draw the circle here this is remember this is where you're going to need where your knee is going to be and then just draw the straight lines down from the end of the circle and then just draw a triangle for the foot straight in the inside of the foot is going to come straight down the outside is going to be more triangle like that so that's the inside straight down outside triangle like that and this is practice as i said this is just practice draw another circle draw your circle at the bottom your knee at the bottom straight down straight down what's going to be inside of your leg what's going to be outside let's say this is going to be inside straight down triangle do the other side same place you got that circle here straight down this is the inside of your leg you have, your, you have your person sitting down. Draw that, that house. Boom, 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 boom. There's your house right there. He's sitting down. You got your thighs. Remember your thighs. When you're, when you're sitting, that little thing is going to flatten out. But we're not worried about shapes right now, the actual shape. We'll get into that later. I just want to show you guys how to get your legs going. So, what else was there that I wanted to show you about drawing legs? Give me a second and I will. Be right back. Let me pause it. You won't know. I'll know. All right. Something I thought about. 
in your house. This pencil sucks. This is not really a drawing pencil. I don't know why I even picked it up. This pencil is a little light. Your legs are going to come, you have the, 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 your legs are going to come way up in here like this. Because your leg muscle comes up in here and this part represents the buttocks, which is in the back. So it doesn't really stop right here at the house, but because we're drawing superheroes, you always have the like the shorts or the, for the woman, you have the bikini shorts, but usually it comes and dips in here and then curves up, especially for the woman ink pen. Cause this, I don't like using pencil because there's a lot of glare for me. I can't really see it because of the glare. Like that so the leg actually comes up fits in like that and then that's when you have that from here to here that, that little muscle comes around and then the other muscle comes here other muscle comes there but usually when you're drawing especially when you're drawing quick and if a guy has a, or a girl has a costume or something on we just draw the house or I just draw the house and then Put the legs attached to that but i know that the legs go all the way up into there i like that another pointer so let's look at the side of the legs real quick i mean i could have stopped the video right here and but let's look at the side of the legs real quick house sideways house get away from that pencil sideways house straight down and it's going to come out like that so it's just going to do a box okay for those who are hard to draw keep bring that out more and bring that out little point so that's going to represent the buttocks like that just curve it around or you could have made the box a little longer and then the buttocks on the side like that so the legs, when you're standing, um, when you're drawing a character from the side, he's not going to be straight up and down like that. The character actually leans, we, we, the body leans forward just slightly, slightly, a bit, slightly. Look in the mirror if you don't believe me. Lean forward slightly. So you have this, and this is the, the legs come up like that. This is what I'm saying about the legs. Comes like that. Again, find your center where your knee is going to be. This part and this part has to be the same length. And this is really short because I'm running out of paper, but I don't want to draw another one. So it's going to curve out, back in, always back in at the knee, and then back out for the calf. And then, like halfway down, curves in. And then you have that part. So you're going to curve forward, especially for a man. That's a little big. That's why you don't draw dark with a pencil. So you can erase, curve in, curve out, and in. This is gonna curve in like this. You have your knee, and then usually, instead of coming out like that, you go in like that. It's gonna give a little, a little curve like that, where the back part is gonna go out and then you have your foot. But you're gonna do that curve and then that part of the knee here, I just give it a little calf, definition of the calf, and then there's a little muscle right there. And I, as I say, I try not to do the leg muscles unless if I'm doing a, like a Hulk type character and I need all the leg muscles, I don't do but you have this muscle right here that comes around and at a certain angle, you will see the other part, the other leg muscle come here and that knee should be tucked into it. But usually doing um, side muscles, this is all that I would do is just this, if that, if that, and then there is, I believe this is another uh, indentation of a muscle there somewhere so okay again if i'm doing this a man a woman is going to to come in like that whereas a man is going to bulge out that's why 
the guy's legs. Where did I do with that example? I don't know. Really oh, it's basically going to be behind or closer in because this piece is comes out, juts out from in front of it. Yeah, in front of it. Whereas a woman's going to have that gap because she has nothing there to jump out. So a woman's going to be come in and out, whereas a man is going to come out and in the difference. And then of course the you have the, the buttocks like that. And usually with a woman's, just like the breast, if you draw a heart, you have the breast and you split it in half. This will be, for me, this will be the buttocks. That's how I do. I just draw half a heart like that. And then legs, stomach comes in. The other leg comes out like that. That's kind of hard to see. So it'll be like this. And half a heart like that, because if I kept on, it would be like a heart. And your legs come out, the other leg comes up and in, and then like that. Hip, back. And that's for a woman. And like I said, a man is more different, less, less bottom, bigger, bigger legs. You define the muscles. So it would actually come more up like that, if I'm not mistaken. But you're not going to see that unless you're drawing like the bathing suit or the, the bikini cut type of suit on uh, your character. You'll just see like this. Like so, and then if you want to do the, the kind of waist cut or the bikini cut, then you can just do that. And if you turn it more, you might see some more of the buttocks in the other leg, depending on the um, depending on the angle that you are drawing, the character angle. And this would stop. This centerpiece would stop, and it would go up, and then your spine would be come up here. But as I say, that depends on the, the angle of your character side. And then let's do a quick back and let's, let's um, call this one a wrap. Back of the house again. Upside down house. Center line, the buttocks. The man is going to, if you're doing the, the buttocks, the man is going to kind of come up like this. And then your legs, whereas the woman's is going to, because I'm going to use this space, remember your hips are going to go out more, and then there's down. The woman is going to come more center line, it's going to come more down, like that. And then you widen, widen this. I don't bring it up to connect like this unless I'm doing like shorts, because, uh, you know, the short pants or something on the, on the female. But anatomy wise, this is where YouTube might try to get me. Oh, he joined nudity. And then the legs here. Like that. So because YouTube might try to get me, let's just do this. Boom. There it is. Pants. Yeah. So now coming down, same thing. Out, straight for the woman, straight. Always straight for the woman, curve for the man. Out. In, let's see where my knee is, half of this, and then I got the other half of that. The knee is going to be here, so it's going to go in, here, and then out, and then back in. Keep that somewhat straight, so you're going to curve in, because the knee is going to be here, and then a little curve here, and then the back of the foot, which is like this. It's basically this. You have your heel. You have your inside, as I say, inside's higher. I usually don't draw ankles because there's usually boots or something like that. But you have these tendons that come here and then right here, especially on the man, you have this little part, this little muscle that helps you bend. And I'll bring her calf in a little bit more. But for, you don't want, I'll do a man's leg on this side. So let's just say a man. And usually when I do a man, as I say, I mean, my, my knee's gonna be right here. I'll I'll bulk it out. I'll do the man and I'll I'll just straight bulk it out. 
and then his back of his foot. And then depending on the side, if he's turned a little bit to the side, you just draw the half of a triangle. So I have this here, which is you have that, that little tendon here. You have the leg, you have that bit of um, ankle, the back heel here, and then just draw a little bit of side because I guess if this is a woman, I would draw it inside, but that's kind of a weird thing to draw. But if you're having boots and shoes on, I don't sweat it so much. Turned him a little bit too much to the side. So I have my calf and working with that center line, which I shouldn't have turned his foot out. Just forget that because it, it throws everything off. Your calf is kind of like your um, triceps. Yeah, it's like that. You have this little piece here for the man. As I say, I will just straight bulk him out, bring it in, out, calf, and then down. Since, like I said, this is the man, I will give him more, more of a narrower, narrower, narrower. I don't know why, that's just my hard, hard uh, uh, word to say. Narrow, narrower bottom, like that. And then curving around. There's a muscle that comes here. There's one that comes actually here, down to the bottom. And then of course you have that inner thigh muscle there. So a guy would have like the tight, you know, tight rumpus. And then yeah, as I say, you have that line here. And then you go down to your calves. Calf is just one. And of course, if it's in the center, and I don't do too much calf, I'll just do a little bit like that. But you bulk it out here, and then like that, and then you have your foot, your back of your heel, forgetting this ever existed. Like that. And sometimes you might just do the feet out on both sides. Not too much, but sometimes this just does it just doesn't look right even though it's right because you might not see the front of the foot here but if you want to you know as i said you can bring just a little bit out right there so that the person doesn't look like they're standing straight so again with the woman it's basically the curves you want to lay off the muscles because unless you're just drawing a super muscular woman furs go down heads go up more her hips are wider, of course. It'll come in right here. Curve out. Curve in and down. So we want to curve out here, down. Curve. So that should be on. And that's really fat thighs. I mean, I could bring it in a, a lot more, but yeah, you'll get the gist of it. So I think for this video, that's all I want to cover because I know it's probably close to an hour. And just a reminder, I am doing online comic book classes, uh, which is going to cover basically all of this in a lot more detail. And I'm breaking them down into lessons. So it's going to be longer, but the lessons are going to be more and shorter so that you don't have to sit there for hours and hours. And I'm still working on that. So for you people who really want to learn how to do comics, get serious about it and learn the steps that it takes, I got gotcha. you. So that's going to be it for this video and uh, subscribe. I never say that. Everybody always says that in the beginning of the video, subscribe and leave a thumbs up. I forget to say that. I just jump right into the video. So I'm, I need to start saying that in the beginning. So subscribe, leave a comment and suggestions. That's one thing that I want to hear is suggestions. What are you having trouble with? What would you like to see? I have been taking, um, I have been listening and I'm writing them down on my board. If you look at my last video, it showed you, I showed you the inside of my drawing room and I always, I always write down these new ideas that you guys have, but it takes time to get there, but still load me up with ideas and I'll come around to them. So again, subscribe, tell a friend, that's more important. I'm trying to grow my channel so that, um, I can get recognized by more people, maybe a sponsor and then get some good, um, computer graphics on here, get some, you know, a lot of good computer stuff animated so I can make the videos more learnable and so forth and so on. So, but that only happens when I get, you know, hundreds of thousands and these people take note that, oh, this guy's a good teacher. He's got all these people that are interested. 
Until then, you just got this plain old ghetto. It's not ghetto, it's a good lesson. You have the plain old drawing lessons, which basically are good. It's always good to stay to the basics instead of getting all crazy. So, enough of a rambling again. I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, put that thumbs up. Give me that thumbs up. All right, I'm out. Later.